Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So Operation Get Sexy is still underway. However, I bought a scale this week and my weight's not going down. <laughs> um, I wanted to get one of the ones that had the numbers on it and then it, you know, like, you, you know, old school scale. And when I went to Bed Bath & Beyond to purchase one, they only had two and they were like this thick and really bulky and so I just got a digital one after all. But this digital one that I got is more reliable than the one that I bought on Amazon. So the one I bought on Amazon that would change weights every time I stepped off, um, done with that one. And I got one that just every time I step on it, it's the same weight. So I am at 139. would like to be you know 130 soon but not getting there so we'll see uh, I told my husband I said I'm not losing I keep doing stuff and I'm not losing any weight and he's like welcome to your 30s and I'm like yeah that is definitely true so I feel like I'm gonna have to he's like that's why I run and I uh, work out and all that stuff because I want to eat the way I do um, it's not because I enjoy it, it's because I have to. So I think I'm gonna have to do some kind of real workout routine. Um, I did good this past week though. I did walk five times out of the seven days. Uh, one day I walked twice, so it was five times altogether. I only walked four days. Two of the days I walked over the bridge that I wanted to do. So I felt really good about that and I sweat a lot when I did it. So. Um, I feel like I'm making progress and even though this number isn't going down quite yet, I feel like if I keep with it, um, everything will be good. So I'm going to continue walking. Um, my goal is to do it every day, but I know that I won't necessarily do it every day, but I really would like to do it every day. So maybe this next week I'll try to do seven times this next week. Let's cross our fingers that we get there. Um, I've been trying to stay really hydrated. It's really, really humid in Florida right now. Like this is the most hot time of the year. I swear this is the hottest month of the year, it's September. Um, it's literally, when I go in my car, 100 degrees every time in there and extremely humid out. So it could be that I'm just retaining water at this point because I do feel like I'm starting to look better, but um, it's really humid out. Like where my fi fingers and everything just feel like swollen because of how hot it is. It's just ridiculous. Um, so I'm trying to keep drinking more and more water. I'm really, really liking this Camelback Eddy bottle that I purchased. It's 0.6 liters of water is what it, fill, it, it has in it, or what it has, and I refill it a couple times a day. So um, the goal, I guess, would be four times a day. I'm correct. I think that's your supposed to be your water intake for the day. Um, so that's the goal. I don't know that I've, I feel like I do it more like three times a day. So maybe I'm going to really try to do it every day, four times a day. Um, someone recommended that I get a, a hydro flask. They said that they, um, in Hawaii, they're super popular. I read that comment. And I didn't really, I'm like, oh, okay, I just bought that. I really don't need anything. And then I was driving and I saw this van parked downtown Sarasota and it was a Hydro Flask van. And it was from Oregon because I guess that's where they're out of is Oregon. And then I went to pick up my son at school and I saw a little boy had a Hydro Flask um, water bottle there for schools, I'm like, it's it, it's three times that I've seen this mentioned. So I ended up ordering one on Amazon. I really ordered this one for my son because I ordered the smallest one. And I just got it in the mail today. It's 18 ounces. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller than this. Um, so he wanted red. Um, so we got him red and then I'll end up writing his name on it in a Sharpie. Um, but I really like how it feels. Um, really like it. So I got, since he's at school, 
and everything. I got him the straw lids too. So I got him the 18 ounce with straw lids. I was thinking of ordering myself the 64 ounce one. That way I could get all of my water to intake really good um, and everything. But because of how big this one is, I feel like maybe I'll order the 41, which seems like it'll be like huge, but uh, I think the 64 inch would just be completely ridiculous. This one seems really nice. Um, I found a store in Sarasota that carries them too, so I've gotta go there and check them out. Um, but right now I want the cobalt blue is what I'm leaning towards. I really like that. Um, I also like when I was, one of the reasons I didn't order when the girl mentioned it on here, so if you mentioned it, thank you, but um, I looked on their website and for some reason I didn't see the straw caps and I thought, oh no, I need a straw cap. I need a straw cap. Um, and then I saw the little boys at school and he had a straw cap on it. I'm like, oh, it does come with a straw cap, you know? So I saw that, but uh, I really like how this feels. It feels really good in the hand. Maybe this is more of an appropriate size though. Um, it just feels good. It feels really good. I do really like this one though. I'm into blue lately. I'm into blue and I'm into garnet color. Those are the two colors that I'm into, like sapphire color blue and garnet. Those are my two things right now. So that's where I'm at basically this week. Um, I have been good about being dressed sexier this past week too, um, where I'm not just really frumpy, try to do my makeup. I'm gonna, I wake up early, but I'm gonna try to wake up earlier this next week so that I can really put myself together um, because I don't necessarily do my makeup every morning as I want to, I get it done at some point, but I wanna, you know, get up earlier than everybody so I can really get myself put together because it makes me feel good. Um, I've been dressing nicely though, I feel, um, with my sexy workout clothes, if I wear workout clothes, um, and still painting my, polishing my fingernails. Um, yeah, but this next week, since, you know, didn't lose any weight, I really like to lose at least like two pounds, like two pounds. Um, I have these goals to get, if I lose two pounds, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy myself a nail polish. That's my goal. Two pounds, I'll buy a nail polish. Once I can lose five pounds, then I'm going to buy a pair of running shoes that I want. Then once I lose seven pounds, I would say jewelry in that mix, but I end up getting jewelry very often. I should like tell myself no, but we get in really pretty jewelry into our store all the time. So like, I got this necklace <laughs> this past week. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to put jewelry on, maybe an expensive piece, like towards maybe 10 pounds, I'll get an expensive piece of jewelry, but I kind of buy like <laughs> nice little pieces <laughs> every time we get anything in. So, um, I'm not going to put jewelry on my list, but you know, that kind of thing. I really would like to lose two pounds. If I lose two pounds, I'm going to buy a nail polish, um, to reward myself this next week. Um, but I need to do something like workout wise. I did the jumping jacks a little bit this week. Um, I need to up that. Um, someone mentioned doing burpees. I can't do burpees for the life of me. Um, <laughs> I'm not flexible. I'm horrible. So maybe I, I need to do some, a little bit of yoga or something. Um, I really need to do something though. Something like workout wise. Um, I saw someone mentioned that Kayla, I can't remember what her last name is. Well, I know what it is, but I don't know how to pronounce it. It starts with an I. Um, and she, I follow her on Instagram actually, and I, she always posts people like doing her program and it's before and after. I'll write down whatever her name is down below, but um, maybe I need to look into her workout program because she always posts mums. She always puts mums because she's Australian. I love that when like, mums um just sounds nice um but she always shows like mums um when they're like here's like them postpartum and here's today i saw someone that was here i am postpartum and then 19 weeks um into her program and looking like super awesome so uh i feel like that could be something down my alley so maybe i really need to look into that but i really need to do something to step up my game because you know 
It's not like it was in my 20s where I could just stop eating carbs, which I haven't been eating carbs and I'll lose weight. Or I stop having dairy because, you know, my son can't have dairy in my breast milk because it makes him all crazy. Um, and I'll lose weight. I have to do something to up my game. So we'll see. My husband is laughing at me. <laughs> do I look skinnier since I... Yes, you do. He thinks I look skinnier. I don't know if he's just saying it though. Sometimes he just says things. But um, <laughs> this this go around, I swear, like usually whenever well, with my last pregnancy and being postpartum, I would lose weight constantly because I was breastfeeding and whatnot. This time, my weight is just at a standstill. So hopefully, all of a sudden, it goes down like 10 pounds, and I'm like, yeah, that was awesome. Um, but I need to do something. But yeah, that's it for now. So if you did anything really remarkable this last week, post it below. If you did nothing this week, make me feel better about myself and just say, hey, I didn't do anything either. I did do stuff, like walking over the bridge was an accomplishment because I was happy that I did that and I really did feel good about it. But maybe I could do it like three times this next week. Um, it, I could feel it too. I could really feel it in my body. Um, that's always nice when you feel it the next day. It makes you feel like you actually did something. Um, so maybe I don't necessarily need to work out. Maybe I could just walk the bridge more. But yeah, tell me something that you've done. Maybe a goal of yours um, that I can add into my goals as well. Um, and hopefully next week I'll have lost two pounds. That's all I'm asking is to lose two pounds for this next week. I don't think that's an awful lot to ask. I just gotta keep drinking water. <sighs> We're gonna see. We'll, we'll keep going. Um, but yeah, so anything down below and we'll see you next week with another video. Goodbye.